Hello, and welcome to the workout. Today, I've got full body plus cardio for you. We're gonna be working in what I call monster sets, three exercises put back to back together, and then we'll take a short rest after that monster set. We've got two strength exercises paired with a cardio burst, and we're gonna do four total sets today. If you want a harder workout, please move faster use the heaviest weight loads that you're able to safely aiming for 12 repetitions if you want a harder workout you can do an extra extra monster set an extra complex of the exercises and if you need an easier workout today move a bit more slowly consider body weight only take breaks when you need this is your workout the goal here is to be focusing on your physical strength i want you using weight loads where the last two repetitions of every single set are challenging and you're aiming for 12 reps let's get it started take your feet separated and let's take a big inhale up Stretching way up to the sky on that inhale, exhale it out, and let's do that again. Stretch up, 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 up. Lengthen out and feel those abdominal muscles begin to fire. Reach, 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 reach. Lengthening that space all along your spine and take those feet a little closer to each other. Arms relaxed overhead. On go, I want you to reach up aggressively as much as you can and go i want you to lengthen yourself out going for every single inch that you could possibly get stretching yourself very actively along your spine making yourself as long as possible from finger fingertips to ankles relax it down breathe it out let's come into a little bit of spinal rotation just to relieve any stickiness that you might be feeling through your torso your hips your spine just let your arms naturally flow around you. Activate the glute on the leg that you're turning away from, squeezing your left here and your right here, really activating that glute because it creates a strong foundation in your pelvis for you to rotate around. It keeps your spine and your back just a little bit safer. One more and relax, feet back just under your hips, arms naturally overhead, and go. Lengthen up as much as you can. This is one of the best exercises to get your transverse abdominus muscle firing. Lengthen out very aggressively, short little breaths. Please don't hold your breath. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen up as much as possible and relax it out. One more spinal twist. Squeeze your glute. Activate that glute. Really squeeze the glute on the leg that you're turning away from. Squeeze the glute. Really activate it while you're letting yourself come into a full rotation. Really great to just open up your mobility. It feels good. It starts to fire up the core a little bit. Brings a little bit of mobility to the hips. And one more. Relax, take your feet a bit wider, take a look down and make sure that your feet are truly parallel to each other, really truly parallel. Bend your knees, push your hips back and I want you to come into a side to side sit, focusing your energy into your heels, really important. You'll hear me say this a lot and that's because I want you firing up the posterior kinetic chain. It's the back side of your body, it's the side of your body that tends to get neglected generally because of poor focus in your energy. So I want you to really bring your weight back onto your heels so that there's no tension in the toes. Inside of my workouts, I don't ever want tension on your toes. We want your toes to be very relaxed so that you're putting your energetic body weight into your heels. Once this feels good, let's take it deeper. The goal here is to sit as deeply as you can into that bending leg. Sit deep, sit deeply, press into those heels. Press your hips back, keeping your abdomen drawn in, keeping those abs braced, activating the leg that we're sitting into and getting a really great dynamic stretch on the inner thigh. And let's do two more. And come together. I want you to actively reach up over your head, 
Step back into a little bit of a modified lunge and alternate. Modified lunge until you get your hips a bit more open. You can stay here. If this is a good intensity level for you, stay here. And if this is easy and you're ready for more, bring it all the way to the ground into a full runner's lunge. You can move faster or slower here. You can use something nearby for balance if you need it. These first few exercises that we're doing are part of a preparatory sequence to get your body really ready for the workout. Now, people tell me all the time, this feels like the workout. <laughs> but the truth is, these exercises are really designed to get your body ready for the workout. Firing up the muscles, opening up the mobility around your joints, improving a little bit of flexibility, getting those glutes firing, getting your heart rate up, all kinds of good stuff. Let's do one more. And bring your feet together. Find something in front of you that's immobile, maybe on the floor, a few feet in front of you to stare at. And I want you to bring your balance onto one leg. At first, this might, might be challenging for the first couple of seconds, but your balance will settle in. Once it does, keep that leg floating, and I want you to just look around your space. Keep the knee bent that you're standing on, really important. You're going to feel the muscles in the arch of that foot fire. You're gonna feel some warmth activation through the hips. This is one of the best glute medius activation exercises you can do. Look up, look down, look behind you, move your eyeballs and your head. Looking around, it's throwing your balance off intentionally so that you can wake up your body's intrinsic sense of balance and stability. Relax it out, same thing on the other side. There will come a day in the future where you will write me a love letter and tell me how valuable this exercise was for you because it's one of the best exercises you can do to improve balance, to protect yourself if you ever stumble or fall or if you're going up and down stairs. So incredible to strengthen that glute medius if you're a runner or an athlete of any sort. Keep the knee bent, look around. If you're very challenged by this exercise, you can just look on the floor keeping your span of vision narrow. And then as you get better at this, you really do want to open up basically everywhere you're looking, looking in all the different directions behind you, up, down, moving your gaze as much as possible because that is what throws your balance off. Now, I might, might be making it look easy over here, but for most people, it's not. You're probably gonna lose your balance. You're gonna use your arms. You're gonna need to tap down to catch your balance and that's normal, eventually you'll be able to look everywhere and almost never tap down. It just takes time and practice. And relax, let's take another big deep inhale up. Exhale it out, one more, let's get into the workout. You're going to need a circle band, some dumbbells, and that is it. If you've got an exercise bench, or something that you can sit on, a stair, a, ch a chair, um, a step, a fireplace mantle, anything. It's great to have nearby for a couple of the exercises, but I can give you modifications where you don't need them. First monster set, first complex two strength exercises with a cardio exercise. Let me show you the three moves so that if you wanna get out ahead of me, you can. Lateral band steps. Go ahead and step into your circular hip band, bringing it above the knees. And we are doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna to be doing lateral band stepping with straight legs. So I want you to keep your knees almost locked out for this exercise. We're not doing a traditional um, partial squat lateral band step. A little different. That's our first exercise. 12 repetitions in one direction, 12 repetitions back. Second exercise, you're gonna need moderate weight dumbbells and we are going, how are we doing this? We are going overhead press, 
to the sides, lateral press down. Overhead press to your side, lateral press down. It's a combination of an overhead and a side lateral press. Then the next exercise, you have an option. You can leave your band on or take it off. I'll remind you when we get to it, our cardio burst for this segment is lateral jumps with or without your band. I want you to really cover some distance. You're gonna perform 30 seconds of the cardio bursts. We take a short break and then repeat this complex. Let's get it started. Go ahead and put your resistance band around your hip and we're gonna start with those straight leg band steps for 12. Tuck your butt under, squeeze your glutes, Knees are almost locked. Here we go. 12 steps in one direction. You almost want to really lock out your knees here. Make sure that you're tucking your pelvis under so that you really fire up through the glutes in this stepping motion. When you hit 12, immediately reverse and come back. Stepping out you're probably going to reach with your toe and then land on the heel. Reach with the toe and then land on that full foot. 12 repetitions, keeping those knees nice and straight. When you hit your 12, pick up your moderate weight load dumbbells, probably around five pounds, maybe eight pounds. And here we go, we've got an overhead press to a side raise, that's one. We're gonna be doing 12 repetitions here. Today's workout is a big one, by the way. This is a big one, so budget your energy, but I do want every single exercise to be challenging. Now we're aiming for 12 repetitions here, and the last two repetitions should be hard. If they're not, your weight load is not challenging enough for you. If you're limited by your home exercise equipment and you're maxing out on your weight loads, what you can do is add a pause. And that is going to automatically <clears throat> make that weight load relatively harder. Otherwise, I want you picking up the heaviest dumbbells that you can so that reps number 11 and 12 are actually challenging. Good job, finding your own speed. You can move faster or slower here, but <clears throat> my workouts are all about strength building. I don't want you moving super fast because if you can move super fast, that means that weight load is not challenging you. So the key here is to slow down, be very deliberate and challenge your actual strength development. Here we go, we're doing our lateral jumps with or without a band, it's up to you. Either way, start with your feet together, sit down, booty back, here we go. We've got about 30 seconds here, jumping back and forth. Please start conservatively until you find your balance. Then, as you find your mechanics and your balance here, then what you can do is really open this up and make it bigger. I want you to cover some space, really big jump, big jump. Give me some very enthusiastic jumping here to get that heart rate up. Sit down into that partial squat. This really should be challenging just about now. Sit deeper if you need to. Couple seconds, hang in there. And one more, and take a short break. Walk it out with or without your band. I'm leaving my band on mostly because honestly, a little bit out of laziness and because I'm just gonna keep my band on for this whole three exercise complex. You can take yours on and off. You can use it just for the first exercise and then get rid of it. Again, remember this is your workout, make it your own. You should be challenging yourself about 20% harder than your current fitness level. The name of the game in my workouts is not to crush it. It's not to kill it. It's not to leave it all on the gym floor. It's not a no pain, no gain philosophy here. It's work hard, about 20% harder than where you are today in terms of energy, vitality, 
fitness level, skill, ability, whatever that represents, the picture of you, give me 20% more today. All right, let's go for our second set of this complex, starting with that straight leg lateral band step. Feet together, knees almost locked. I want you to really tuck your pelvis under so that you're squeezing your glutes and begin your stepping from there. 12 steps, big stepping out, leading with the heel. Now you might reach with your toe and then land on your heel, but do make sure that foot that is stepping stays parallel to the other foot. When you hit 12, immediately reverse, coming back, big reach. Ooh, you feel those hips firing? So if you've joined me for this workout before, you know normally we do this in a partial squat. Doing it with straight legs is a whole different exercise and you're gonna feel it so differently. It starts to hit more into what we call tensor fascia lata, which is a, a collection of fascia that pulls together all of the muscles of the hips. Grab your dumbbells overhead with a side raise. Shoulders are back and down, chest is lifted. Overhead press going right into your side raise, 12 repetitions. You can give me a pause here or not. If you're very athletic, if you're super fit and you wanna move faster with heavier dumbbells, you can move a bit faster, but I really want you to be slowed down because of the weight of the dumbbells. If your dumbbells aren't slowing you down a little tiny bit, my friend, you can go heavier. This is not just a typical cardio, high energy workout. All of my workouts are focused on strength training because I really believe that is what all women need the most. And that is the gift that I bring. I help women use strength training and nutrition to really transform their body and their life along the way. And you gotta be using some solid weights to do that. Big press, 12 reps, one more, and we're gonna go into that cardio burst. With or without your hip band, feet together, partial squat, stay low to the ground, this is really important. Let's go, cover some distance. Give me some enthusiasm here. If this doesn't get your heart rate up, then I want you to give me just a little bit more oomph. Please be careful with your footwork so that you don't trip or catch a shoelace or a foot safety is first but you do want to stay close to the ground this isn't a big jump up and over okay it's really more straight across the ground i want you staying low keeping your body weight down so that it's a lateral push 30 seconds or so big reach big jump and five seconds and walk it out, short little break, or go ahead and begin a third round of this complex if you want. Let me show you our next complex of three exercises. Go ahead and get rid of your circular hip band, grab yourself a dumbbell, a heavier dumbbell here. Let me show you these three exercises. First exercise, goblet squat, feet, are turned open. You're gonna look down at your feet as if you're standing on a clock. If you're standing on a clock face, your left foot is at 10 a.m. and your right foot is at 2 p.m., okay? Or 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., whether you're a morning person or a night person. Take a look down, those toes are turned out along with the knees. That is what separates a goblet squat from other squats. The dumbbell is at your chest. You are sitting down deeply until your elbows are inside of your knees and you're gonna squeeze your butt at the top. Second exercise is a dumbbell single arm row. Now, if you've got a surface that you can um, support yourself on, take your feet separated so that they are next to each other. Here, heavier dumbbell, 12 repetitions. 
on each arm. And our last exercise for our cardio burst is skiers. You're gonna start with your feet separated. We're just gonna swap, 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 swap for 30 seconds. Ready? Grab your heavier dumbbell. Goblet squat for 12. Toes are open. Heels are wider than your shoulders. Chest is lifted. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Super important. Now, the bottom of this exercise is very special. Your hips should be below your knees. The goal of this exercise is to keep an upright torso with your hips below your knees at the bottom. If you can't quite hit this position, that's okay. If you are newer on your strength training journey, if you're learning the move, if you're working on your flexibility, but here is where I want you to be headed at some point in your near future. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Your weight load should be heavier. 12 reps should be hard here. And we've got one more going into single arm row. You can do it here without an apparatus. If you've got something to support yourself, please pay, place your feet next to each other, pausing at the top. If your weight load is not heavy enough, big pause. Now, in a perfect world, I would have you doing a weight load that's challenging enough so that you can't pause at the top. That's the perfect world. Maybe it's 20 or 25 pounds here so that you're unable to pause. But if you're limited by your home exercise equipment, you can add that pause to make the weight heavier. Obviously, it doesn't actually make the weight heavier, but it makes it harder relative to the muscle. When the muscle has more time under tension, it has to work harder. And by adding that pause, you're making the workload harder on the muscle without having to increase the weight load. Now I want you to increase the weight load. So we use that tip only if you're limited by your home exercise equipment. But in a perfect world, I'd rather you go get yourself some more home exercise equipment. Ready for our cardio burst? Feet start separated. We've got our skiers for 30 seconds. Here we go, swap, swap. Okay, if you need a more low impact version of this, you can literally just turn it into reverse stepping as quickly as you can, okay? But part of this exercise is to get this little bit of jumping to get your heart rate up. 30 seconds here. Let's get that heart rate going. Use your breath. It's gonna make your legs look And walk it out. Let's take a short break, letting your heart rate recover, letting your whole central nervous system get a little bit of a rest. And then we're gonna go into our second round of this circuit. If you want a harder workout today, shorten this rest. Give me 15 to 20 seconds, and then go ahead and begin the second round of this complex. We're gonna be aiming for about a 30 second rest here, more or less. You can always take a longer rest if you need it before we go into our second round of this complex. Keep your legs moving, turn the music up in the background. And if you want to join me live for one of these workouts, please go to my website, hollyperkins.com forward slash free workout. And you can join me and the other group of women that are with me live right now. And if you're lucky, I might even be able to check your technique. Okay, guys, you ready for our second round? Grab your heavier dumbbell, goblet squat, single arm row, skiers. Let's go. Take a moment to really put your feet into perfect position. Dumbbell stays in contact with your chest. Here we go. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze those glutes. Good job. I see you guys. Good job, Heidi. 
Elsa, good job on that cardio. I see you. Robin, I see you. Robin, you're gonna sit a hair deeper. Just a little bit deeper. <laughs> good job. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Sitting those hips all the way down. <clears throat> you're not trying to sit to the floor. This is not, the goal is not to get your bum to touch the ground, but you really do want your hips all the way below your knees at the bottom. And one more, dumbbell, single arm row. <clears throat> if you're doing it, if you're leaning onto something, make sure your feet are equidistant, soften the knees, slight arch in the back, pausing at the top if your weight's not heavy enough. Use that breath. And 12 reps, switch sides. Going right into that other side, no rest. In between when we do a unilateral exercise, Really make sure you're ending with that shoulder blade drawn up in space and back towards your spine. I really wanna make sure that you're drawing that shoulder blade inward. You are adducting the shoulder blade, bringing it closer to the midline of the body, which is your spine here. 12 reps, pausing or not. and relax cardio skiers you ready start with those feet separated bigger or smaller faster or slower let's go 30 seconds here use your breath to fuel this exercise staying light on your feet super energized <laughs> You can turn it low impact if you prefer. And walk it out. Give me a little bit of a recovery. Keep your legs moving. Please do not stop cold in space. I want you to keep your legs moving to facilitate a bit of recovery on the heart by keeping the muscles active. Let me show you our next complex of exercises. You'll want a moderate weight dumbbell. First exercise, feet together, knees bent, dumbbell over your head. If you've got your left hand over your head, you're going to step back on to the left leg for reverse lunging. 12 repetitions and then we'll switch sides. You're stepping with the same foot of the arm that's over your head, okay? 12 repetitions on both sides. Next exercise, heavy dumbbell, elbows near your temples, lowering that dumbbell down so that it taps between your shoulder blade, press it straight up over your head. In a perfect world, your upper arm is about true perpendicular to the floor. If you've got a slight forward angle, that's okay. Third cardio burst are squat jumps. Feet or shoulder width distance apart. We're going to sit down and explode upward. Explode upward. Whatever speed works for you here, squat jumps for 30 seconds or 30 jumps, however you wanna count it. Grab your dumbbell. Let's do that overhead hold, reverse lunge. If your dumbbell is in your left hand, you're gonna be stepping onto your left foot. Feet together, knees bent. Here we go. 12 reps on this leg before we switch sides. Now, there's a lot going on with this exercise. If you need to make it a little easier, drop the dumbbell. You can also bring your hand to your front leg for a bit of stability. Now, regardless of how you're performing this exercise, it's a front leg exercise. 
If you're stepping back on your left leg, the focus of this exercise is actually your right leg. Whichever leg stays in front is the leg you wanna be thinking about. 12 reps, one more here, and then we're gonna go right to that other side. Focusing on that front leg, keeping your energy and body weight onto the heel of that front leg. Use your breath to fuel the move. Drive into that front heel, stand super tall. One more, going right into tricep overhead extension. 10, 15, maybe even 20 pounds here. Straight up over your head. Let that dumbbell come long, all the way down towards the shoulder blades, keeping your elbows in space with a slight bit of angle at the upper arm. Now, we want your elbows to stay near your temple, but it doesn't have to stay super narrow. There is a slight outward bend, a slight openness, at the elbow, 12 reps, and squat jumps are next. Dumbbell is down, setting up. Feet are about shoulder width distance apart. We're gonna squat and give a very enthusiastic jump upward for about 30 seconds here. Jump as high as you can. Give me a big jump. Big jump. Use those legs to very explosively come off the ground. Super high. Big push. Get that heart rate up. All the way up. Use your arms. Give me a little bit more. You guys look amazing. Heidi, loving it. Good job, guys. Feel those legs burning. Big hop. One more. And walk it out. Give yourself a moment of recovery. Checking in on my friends, Jillian, I see you. Elizabeth, Diane, so good to see all of you guys. Fran, Dawn. So now if you're with me live on a workout, remember, turn on your camera so that I can see you and I can give you feedback on your technique. And if you don't want my feedback, you can keep your camera off. <laughs> no pressure to turn your camera on, but it's so fun to have you guys working out with me. I love seeing you. And I love to kind of spot check your technique every now and then. Kathy, you're looking good, girl. Short break, just keep it moving. Dance, walk around, do whatever you need to do. Just keep those legs moving. I just don't want you to stop cold in space because you will get dizzy and it is challenging on your vascular system and your heart. So just keep it moving, short little break. We're going into our second round of this complex. Okay, how did that first one feel? Be honest with me. If that first round of these exercises wasn't really hard, I'm still breathing heavy. If that round wasn't hard for you, I want you to use a heavier dumbbell on that overhead reverse lunge. And I want you to use a heavier dumbbell on that tricep. If you don't have heavier dumbbells, do more repetitions, move faster, and plan to do a third round of this complex. I want you to challenge yourself. I want you to get stronger. And the only way that happens is by challenging yourself safely, conservatively, cautiously, with a heavier dumbbell. Safely always. All right, here we go. Feet together, knees bent, dumbbell over your head. Are you ready for the next round? Let's do it. Give me some love on this reverse lunge right here. 
one of the best exercises you could possibly do. This is such a valuable exercise. I can't even, I can't even start on it. Really focus on that front heel. Keep that arm extending over your head. Squeeze your glute when you step forward. Remember, your mental focus is on the front leg. 12 reps. And then we're gonna immediately go to that other leg. Same thing on the other leg. Feet together, knees bent. Arm overhead, engage that core, lock off that arm. Arm doesn't move, the stepping leg does. Keeping your weight hovered over the heel and arch on that front leg. Driving into the heel to activate your posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes. If this doesn't get your heart rate up, I need you to challenge yourself. Two more. Going right into that tricep overhead extension. Feet together, knees bent, arms overhead. Keep those elbows in space. Bending the elbows only so that dumbbell comes down towards the shoulder blade. 12 reps. Four more. Work those triceps. One of my favorite exercises to tighten and tone the back of your arms. And in a moment, I'm gonna teach you a secret. And relax. You ready for the secret? Tighten and tone is a function of building muscle. You want tighter toned triceps, build muscle through strength training. That's how you get there. Squat jumps, you ready? Feet are separated, shoulder width distance apart. All right, here we go. Give me some high energy, big enthusiasm, big jumps. Let's go for lift off. All the way up, big jump. Lead with that chest. Use your arms to support you to make that movement bigger. Super high, big push. So good for bone density right here. When they talk about body weight exercises, this is next level because this is also an impact exercise. Impact is fabulous bone density 30 seconds use those arms come on couple more couple more couple more robin five more robin <laughs> give me five more walk it out good girl good girl walk it out guys good job you guys let that heart rate recover if you want a harder workout third superset Okay, third complex for you. Otherwise, I am going to show you our final complex of three exercises. Hold on one second. I made a little bit of a mistake here. Ah, got it, okay. So we've got my beloved single leg deadlift with two dumbbells. Next exercise, we're gonna be doing a dumbbell chest press. You can do it on the floor, or if you've got an exercise bench or something to lay on, please put it nearby. And then we've got one more Mac Daddy cardio exercise. Let me show you, single leg deadlift real quick, two dumbbells, let me show you from the front. Two dumbbells, standing on one leg, knee is slightly bent, dumbbells come mid shin, 12 reps on each leg. Next exercise, you can do this on the floor or if you've got an exercise bench, we've got starting from the top, shoulders to your hips, dumbbell, chest press. You can do this from the floor. It's a little bit more effective from an exercise bench. I would say it's about 20% more effective when you do it on an exercise bench. And final, 
cardio burst, the one to end it all, split jumps. We're gonna start with our feet separated. This one's a doozy. We're combining all of our cardio segments from the workout into split squat jumps. You can make this low impact by just coming to a big arm movement, reverse lunge. Cool? All right, are you guys ready? We got single leg deadlift with two dumbbells. You want three, five, eight pound dumbbells or more. Feet together, knees are bent. Here we go. Bringing your dumbbells forward only to about mid shin depth. This is not about reaching the floor. I know you've seen other uh, let's call them fitness influencers out there who do this, taking the dumbbells all the way to the floor. That's not what this exercise is about. This is a single leg deadlift, not a good morning. And you really only want to be rotating forward to the point where your torso hovers just above parallel to the ground. Okay. Um, if you come to parallel to the ground with your torso, that's okay but it's a little bit better if you end here with your torso just above parallel because it loads the glute and the hamstring. That's what this exercise is about. This is a glute hamstring exercise. And as soon as you go past parallel to the ground, you relieve the tension on the glutes. So it's less effective. Same thing, we're doing one set on each leg before we move on to that dumbbell chest press, either on the ground or on an apparatus, a chair, a couch, a piano bench, an exercise step, whatever you have. And if you're considering adding to your home exercise equipment, if you've got the basics down, I feel the next smart purchase is an exercise bench. It's so useful, so versatile. It really opens up all of the different exercises that you can do. And it was the first piece of equipment I bought for this gym once I had the basics down. First thing I bought, I don't have any other equipment in here except what you see and an exercise bench. Okay, dumbbell chest press. Heavier dumbbells, eights, tens, fifteens and above, depending on your fitness level. Start with your dumbbells over your head. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips. Really aggressively push your shoulder blades to your hips. Pop your chest up, here we go. If your dumbbells are slightly easy for your current fitness level, give me a pause at the bottom. Use that breath. You know, breathing is such an interesting thing. It really does fuel your workout. A lot of people think that the only time to breathe heavy is when the workout is hard and it makes you breathe heavy. But the truth is really consciously choosing to focus on your breath helps to actually fuel your exercises. It brings fuel of source of sorts into the muscle so that you've got a more energized workout. Final cardio burst, the Mac Daddy split squat jumps. You're gonna start with your feet separated. Remember, you can do low impact if you want. We got about 30 seconds or 30 jumps. Here we go. Big arms, as high as you can. Use those arms to make this movement really big. Powerful, really big jump. Push it, I want you to really enthusiastically, safely, give me some big jumps here. All the way up. Yeah. Light on your feet. Springy and explosive through those legs. A couple more. And walk it out. Let your body recover. Move about. Don't stand still in space. Keep it moving. I gotta give me some more fresh air in here. Walk it out. Short break. And we're gonna repeat 
as complex. One more time. How did it feel? Okay. Could you go heavier on that single leg deadlift? Could you take those dumbbells up? Could you work harder on your dumbbell chest press? Let me tell you something. Women, dumbbell chest press is one of the most empowering, important exercises you can do because it strengthens your upper body pushing ability. And that's a really important um, function in daily life and as we get older. If you don't like the way that your upper body looks or if your triceps are a little softer than you want them to be, dumbbell chest press is a great exercise to work but you've got to challenge your weight loads. All right, where are we? Let's repeat. Next round, grab your heavier dumbbells. We got single leg deadlift. Okay, challenge yourself. Each leg, 12 reps. Start with the feet together, knees bent. Are you ready? Two dumbbells, here we go. Keep your shoulder blades drawing together towards each other. Remember, you don't have to come all the way parallel to the ground. Keep that standing knee bent. You really should feel this work in the hamstring and the glute of the leg that you're standing on. Twelve reps. Let's go one more. Switch sides. If you're joining me for the first time, if you haven't been a part of my workout before, please know that I may not count my repetitions accurately. I'm aware of it. That is not the cause for you to comment on it. <laughs> it's to know that I would rather dedicate my mind and my brain energy into coaching you and focusing on other elements of the workout. The truth is, you're a big girl. You can count to 12. So it's your job to protect your body. It's your responsibility to focus your brain on your workout. I'm just here to guide you and offer suggestions. And my suggestion today is to count your repetitions. <laughs> One more. And let's go to that dumbbell chest press. On the floor is fine. If you don't have an exercise bench, I did this on the floor for a year. If you've been with me for these workouts, we've now been doing these live workouts for over a year. And for over a year, I did them on the floor until I got myself an exercise bench. You can now get a fabulous exercise bench for $100. This one folds up and collapses so it saves space. If you're serious about your workouts at home, first, build out your collection of dumbbells, bands, those kind of resistance apparatus. Then the next thing you wanna get is an exercise bench. Then the next thing you wanna get is a barbell and some plates. That's coming up soon here. We're gonna be working those into the workouts pretty soon, one of these days. Okay, you ready? We got our last round, big cardio. Finish strong, finish high energy. Give me some love on these split squats. Some enthusiasm, use those arms, use the power of those legs. And of course, if you need to modify it to keep it a little bit more gentle, please do. But please, please know that impact exercises are so good for bone health. Do be watchful and careful of your feet and your ankles. Are we ready? Feet start separated. 30 seconds. And jump. Use those arms. Make it really big. Really build up some energy before you jump. So you can have lots of explosiveness with those legs. All the way up. Really explode. Push with those legs. Use those arms to help you. But it's really about the emphasis and explosiveness on those legs. Two more. Walk it out. Walk it out. 30 seconds or 30 jumps. If you want to do a third round, go for it. I'm going to take you through a short cool down here. Then, if you want to stick around 
after the workout. If you're here with me live, we are gonna be doing the walking lunge workshop, mini workshop. I'm gonna take you through some body weight walking lunges to help improve your athleticism, your mobility, your stability, the strength of your legs, the function, and we're gonna make those thighs look awesome. Take your feet separated, let's go through a little cool down here. Let's come into spinal rotation, just a little bit of a nice gentle cool down. Let your heart rate come down. And relax. Let's go, big inhale up. Exhale, let's do one more. I'm gonna take you through a quad stretch. Exhale it out. If you need something for balance, please find it. You're gonna bring your heel up to your butt. If that's not possible for you, you can grab your pant leg. You can grab your shoe. You can also wrap a belt around your foot. Keep the standing leg slightly bent, slightly bent. Tuck the pelvis, pull the knee back of that leg that you're stretching. Keep your pelvis tucked, keep your leg bent. Tuck the pelvis, pull this knee back. Hold for that stretch. If there's anything you should be doing every single day, it's brushing your teeth, drinking your water, and doing this stretch. <laughs> no joke, this is an incredibly important stretch for every single human, women especially. Relax and switch sides. Even if you just do one set of this exercise every day, it will keep your knees healthy. It releases the pelvis, so it's gonna reduce the possibility of hip issues, hip pain. If any of you suffer from hip pain on the outside of your hips, if you have sciatica or sensations that look like sciatica, this is probably, I would actually say, in all honesty, let me think before I speak, this is probably the most important stretch that a woman could do. If you do no other stretching, do this stretch and you're gonna watch how much it impacts your entire body. Let's go one more big inhale. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're watching this in playback, please leave a comment below. And if you wanna join us for a live workout, it would be so fun. It's totally free, by the way. hollyperkins.com forward slash free workout. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.